right, one of the kind of fun plants that you might find as you wander around at Beaver Creek or at the uh, during, in the Chippewa Valley um, is one of our bed straws. Now bed straw, I'm just going to break a little piece of this off um, here so that I can show you a little bit better. Um, bed straws, leaves grow in a whirl. And then there'll be a, 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 space, a space and then another world. Now, one of the kind of fun things, one of the old stories I'd always been told with bed straw um, is that it was a good way to see if somebody liked you or not. Um, because if you were suspicious that somebody liked you or maybe wanted to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you would walk up to them and it would, you would sneak up and you'd throw this at them. And if it stuck, then they did like you. Well, the thing is, it's going to stick to most stuff, uh, cottons or wools or any natural fibers, um, because it has little bitty hairs on here. Another story that I've heard is that the guy who invented Velcro might have had this stuff living in his backyard. Because if you put this under a microscope, it does look like the hook side of a Velcro piece. Um, and so uh, it's a fun little plant. Bed straw uh, has a real sweet smell, and the name bed straw comes from before we had mattresses. Um, the uh, that we know nowadays they would take and stuff their mattress with freshly mown hay now grass gets kind of sour smelling after you do that um, and so they would put the the bed straw smells sweet and so they would put that in there to make their bed smell better so again it's a kind of a fun little plant and there's several species of it but they all grow in this kind of whirl space whirl pattern so keep your eye out for that